obstructive sleep apnea syndrome is a group of the symptoms in a patient which having the obesity snoring and excessive daytime sleepiness so the dictum of diagnosis of sleep apnea syndrome is the obesity and snoring and these patient most of the time sleepy over a day because during the night time because of snoring there is the loss of oxygen levels or the less of oxygen levels to the brain and because of that the brain doesn't uh, uh, sleep or you can say the brain requires the uh, brain is all the time awake and because of there the sleep is get disturbed and due to the disturbed sleep in the night they are more sleepy during the day time due to the sleepy during the day time their activity is reduced and because of that there is the obesity so the cycle of this snoring then there is the obesity then there is the presence of an uh, day time sleepiness is going on so obstructive sleep apnea syndrome patients range from the childhood to the adulthood to the uh, old age all group of the patients are suffering or they get the obstructive sleep apnea syndrome commonly into the male in the younger as well as after menopause the females are the more common because of the hormonal changes in sleep apnea syndrome the diagnosis is the obese patient with snorer and most of the time these symptoms are neglected and patient land up with the complications like they have the uncontrolled or early hypertension they may have the cardiac failure they may comes with the renal failure or the young patient may comes with the stroke or there is the hemiplegia so all these are complications which are 25 to 30 percent more common in sleep apnea syndrome rather than normal populations now sleep apnea syndromes incidence is also nowadays increase like it is up to the initially it was 4 to 5% but which was like the iceberg phenomenon was hidden now because of an awareness the incidence is increased to 20% now how this patient should diagnose once we suspect the sleep apnea syndrome the patient should undergo the initial some test like to find out there is any anatomical obstruction into the upper airway so ent checkup should be done then there should be the some uh, uh, x rays of an upper airways or the sinus should be done to rule out the polyps is presence or not then associated diseases like thyroid should be ruled out and is there is there any complications like tudi echoes or a test should be done to find out there is a cardiac complication present or not once the patients this baseline investigations done patient should subject for the sleep study where medically it is called as a polysomnography here the patient study for 6 to 8 hours of an sleep is been done with the help of one gadget which is called as polysomnography which records the patient snoring which records the patient's the sleeping pattern of an brain also record the how much uh, saturations or the oxygen levels deep down during the sleep and there is the cardiac changes all these test all these uh, parameters analyze and machine gives the results or the report which is called as a sleep study report and here we can diagnose if patient having the sleep apnea syndromes or not if the index of apnea hypopnea index which is called as more than 5 it suggest you of sleep apnea syndrome and here patient then should go for the treatment because if you not take a treatment 
patient will land up with the complications so the treatment is that where the patient's snoring should stop patient's oxygen level should improve and patient's brain should sleep so that patient get a quiet or the sound sleep and so his daytime sleepiness will be reduced in this case the main treatment if there is no upper airway anatomical obstruction is there patient should subject for the what is called as the cpap machine uh, treatment here the again the second day cpap machine titration study for a, during the sleep can be done and which will give the how much pressure of the cpap machine is required to abolish the sleep apnea uh, syndromes or abolish the snoring as well as correction of an oxygen levels once the patients that level has been detected patient should advise to purchase the cpap machine and he should use the cpap machine every day during the sleep for at least one year and after one year again the study or sleep study is done to find out how much improvement is there and after that we can reduce the patient's cpap machine use five days in a week two days he cannot he can uh, sleep without the sleep machine and this way the management of this sleep apnea syndrome can be done the only the message is that the early detection of an sleep apnea syndrome is very important which improves the patients uh, which reduce the patients weight as well as prevent the complications which is occur because of sleep apnea syndrome